name is Marcus Krieger. I live in Moorhead, and this is a video for the Pangea Cultivator Cultures Multicultural Festival. And the cultural practice I'm going to be talking about is chip carving. And uh, chip carving is uh, it's a uh, it's an art form that's practiced all around a lot of Northern Europe, Scandinavia, Germany, Poland, places like that. I learned how to do it at the Sons of Norway Lodge in Fargo. Um, and it's just kind of, you take a, you make a design and then you chip little carbon chip, chips out of it and make the design. Uh, it's used a lot in uh, like um, uh, the Christmas ornaments or decorative plates or just really for decorating really anything like a little birdie cup or something. You know, it gets more, it gets long and cold in the winter and they didn't used to have TV. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to teach you how to make a rosette. And a rosette is what you call this design here or here. You know, that's a rosette, that's a rosette, that's a rosette. Um, and although this is the, this style is what uh, is, is a style from um, Scandinavia, um, you'll see these designs in pretty much every culture in the world because this is mathematics. What this is, it's a, it, math is a universal language. This is geometry. We're just making designs by bisecting, by, by, by um, um, circles in, in equidistant parts and just playing with them. So I'm going to make a six-point rosette like this and a four-point rosette. Okay, so to make a six-point rosette, all you need is this. It's a compass. Uh, with a pencil on it and so you need a piece of paper and uh, And it's not just chip carving that uses this you can paint rosettes you can you can it's just all sorts of designs So what you do is you start out you make a circle and Then anywhere on that line put your anchor point anywhere in the circle make an arc then go to the next one Make an arc Go to the next one. And if you do that six times, you get this pretty little flower or star design. And then you get to, you know, do you want to cut that out? Maybe you want to cut this part out instead. You know, so what, what's neat is every chip carving design, it kind of gives you a negative and a positive design that you can do. Uh, so that's the easiest. I love six point rosettes. Uh, and then every, if you do a 12 point, five point, seven point, whatever, every, every type of rosette has a different mathematical formula. And so this, for, to make a four point rosette, you need a, a straight edge, a ruler, or something like that, and a pencil. And then somewhere on that line, you make your circle. I'm, I'm going to make two circles. I'll show you two, two kind of variations. And then we, so right there, you got pretty much a two-point rosette. There's one point, two point. It's divided in half. We want to divide it in four. And you do that by putting your anchor point on one of those points, and then you make it really big. Make the opening really big, bigger than you need. And then make an arc outside the circle, above and below. Go to the other point. Do the same thing. When you connect those two point intersections, You have a four-point rosette, and then you get to play around with it. So if I if I put my opening and my compass to between these two points, I'll show you here what happens. I don't know. Just play around. You get this design like that. Or you could get something completely different, and I'll show you one more. If you just make it smaller, you play around with the size. Uh, if you make it smaller, then you know maybe from here to there, you get a common design that you'll see in a lot of 
especially like medieval European art, religious art. Um, you go to all four points, make that arc. And this design here is sometimes called a German cross. Um, so you can see, you know, four point rosette, but two very different designs. And it's like that for all the, all the chip carving rosettes. I, I feel like it's, a, it's something that you, uh, you learn in a day and you spend the rest of your life trying to get good at it and playing with all the different designs that you can make with it. Uh, so that's that. Danke. Thank you.